Now this is the next day after Michael uh, has awakened from his nightmare. You awaken to uh, some candles and soap and a letter from a friend. And you're going to just leave here to see what's going on. Michael! Oh, it's terrible. Dr. Siegel's been killed. They found his body in the mines and... I know this sounds absurd, but some of the workers are saying he was killed by a mummy. Can you imagine? Some are even saying they saw the mummy. Oh, God, I can't believe this. I I'm going to go call the authorities. Davenport's still down in there. I I'm sure he'll fill you in on any of the details. So, now we're going to the mines to talk to Stuart Davenport to see what has happened with Jerry Siegel. And here's the mine. You're going to need your car to get access into the mines. Do you believe this crap? Seagulls been murdered and all the workers have run off scared out of their wits. They claim there's a mummy loose in the mines. <laughs> they were hysterical, running around screaming that we've awakened the spirits of the dead. It's bloody nonsense, if you ask me. Absolutely insane. Where'd all this happen? Well, down the tunnel there. We haven't moved his body yet. Everything's exactly as we found it. Now we're going down to the, through the mines to see Jerry Siegel. I should probably search his body for clues. <laughs> now you might not I, know this. I don't think but I should go down there. His murder light. he wasn't murdered there in the in that particular area of the mine. He was actually murdered somewhere else to cover up something. Not a pretty sight down there. Well nasty things like murder sometimes happen out here in the wilds, Cameron. Not nice and safe like for New York office. Oh, uh, yes, uh, about your mind tour. Afraid I can't do it. Because for some reason, the power to the lights was cut. You'll be able to see a thing. It's a pity, really. Uh, actually, I was quite looking forward to it. But uh, I might as well share a few tidbits with you now, so you won't bother me later. Let's see. Um, well, the mines here are divided up into six different levels which are connected both by elevators and mine carts. The manganese ore is loaded from the carts onto the conveyor belt, which takes it through to the pulverizer over there, and then deposits the ore onto the surface. As you probably already know, we've got six different mine fans out here which draw fresh air into the mines. One shoot for each different level. Yes, well, uh, I think that's enough for now. Like I said, Jerry Siegel was killed to cover up some, uh, to cover up something that was going on. Now he told you earlier about um, the gas pockets, and he must have went down to the mines to find out what those gas pockets were, but to only discover something else completely horrific. Um, now, that's what's in this box here. Um, you get a journal, journal from Jerry Siegel, there you go, there is. and you also get a floppy disk left by Jerry Siegel. I hope you can see it. It's blurry on my end. Now you don't really have to co cover everything back up, you can just leave it. And now that floppy right there is a decoy. You can pick it up if you want to, but it'll be a waste of time because it's completely empty and there's no point in having it. Now it 
told us that we need to go to. Uh, it told us that we need to find the mind map, floppy, somewhere on the campgrounds. So we're going to have to leave Jerry because Jerry does not have the mind maps. So we're going to go and hunt it down. And the first place we're going to look is in. Great pity about seeing. Any more news about the murder? No, not really. His death really screws things up. Now there's no chance of getting started soon. The workers are such superstitious bastards. <laughs> A mummy. Right. I can't believe you, Davenport. One of your key people has been murdered, and you you don't seem that concerned. Look, it happened. It's over. Another casualty of war, as they say. Dirty things happen out here in the field, Cameron. You'd better get used to it. Like I said, the first place we're going to look is in Stuart Davenport's office. Now, here's the satellite dish. Somebody broke it all up. The keys I have don't fit. There must be another way to get in there. It's living proof that you can't have nice things. So, um, yeah, you can go through the window because that's the only way to go through. You do not have the keys. Um, here you're going to refill your canteen. And you're going to the safe, which is right behind this calendar. Right there. You do not have the combination for it, so you're going to have to hunt it down later. 300 million dollars. And they're definitely not talking about manganese deposits. Hmm. Odd. There's no dial tone. the door. Either way it works. Now we're going to Stuart Davenport's office, uh, trailer, excuse me, to find the combination to the lock, to the safe that's in his office. And there it is. It's 2895. Now back to the office. 